I'm often asked why I chose to move to Spain, um, and more specifically Barcelona. Uh, for me, a lot of it was the weather. Coming from Canada, I really got tired of the long cold winters, all the snow, and so here the weather is fabulous. It doesn't get nearly as cold. There really is a great um, outdoor life year round. People will sit on terraces and enjoy lunch or having a drink or coffee. And if it is cool in the winter time here, when they're doing that, a lot of the places do have heaters or blankets and then it's still warm enough to be outside. Another reason that I chose to live here was the beach. I really love being by the water and so for me it was important to have some type of beach uh, that I can enjoy. I enjoy walking along the beach. Um, I just really love the outdoors. The food here in Spain is great. Uh, some of the adjusting though definitely was when they eat. They have lunch time is usually around two o'clock in the afternoon and then they don't really have dinner until about 9 or 10 p.m which is quite late i'm not used to that because dinner in canada is usually around 6 p.m so sometimes i have two dinners i have an early dinner that i'm used to and then something small later if i'm meeting friends for for dinner later on uh, what else why else did i choose spain the infrastructure um, I love the fact that I don't have to buy a car. I can get around easily on the, the metro, the transportation here, not only within the city, but to get to other cities. They have a fabulous train system and even other countries. And it's very inexpensive to fly uh, to other countries within Europe as well. So that was definitely another benefit for moving here. Um, yeah, I think that pretty much covers all of them. Definitely the the no need to buy a car to save money, um, the weather, the beach being here, um, and the people, the food. It's just been a really great decision and I've really enjoyed being here so far. The lifestyle in Barcelona is very laid back and throughout Spain. Um, lots of times lunches are long, they're usually at least an hour and a half to two hours. People really enjoy the outdoors. After dinner, even though it's very late, often they'll go for a walk. Um, they enjoy spending time with friends and family. There's lots of parks. Whether people are just going for a walk or exercising outside, there's many gyms that they go to, but I find a lot of people you'll see going for jogs, going for walks. Um, work, they do have a siesta in the afternoon, so most places will be closed from 2 to 4 o'clock where then the locals or the people who are working will go for lunch, um, go home, have a nap, uh, and then things will open up again after around uh, between 4 and 6, things open up again in the evening time. So that's been a very big adjustment for me. I used to do a lot of my errands and things in the afternoon, but now I'm up early to work for a few hours. Then if I have to go out and do any banking, shopping or anything, I have to make sure that I'm done that before 1.30 uh, because then things will start to close or then I have to wait till after 4 o'clock to continue. So been of a, a bit of an adjustment but overall it's been great and I've gotten used to it. It still catches me every now and then that I'll go to a store and it'll be closed and I'll have to go back later but for the most part um, it's been great. Healthcare when living abroad is always a concern for many people. Uh, I find that the healthcare here in Spain has been very good. Um, I've been lucky that I haven't had to really use it very much, but I know other friends and people who have. The cost for health care is very inexpensive. For a retired couple um, to be here in Spain, the health care would probably cost around $250 per month. Myself, mine was, I believe, it's been a while now since I, I pay annually, I think it was around 900 um, for myself, but I'm not at retirement age yet. Um, 
and there's lots of private hospitals. Now, if you do become a resident here, then there is the public system that you can access and you won't need to have private health care. You will need to initially that private health care for the first year until you get residency. And then after you can have the option to keep full private health care, um, have partial or go directly and just use the full public system and not have to pay for private health care at all. So that's up to each individual person what they want to do, but they'll definitely need to have some private health care for the first year while they're waiting to get their residency here in Spain. Transportation here in Barcelona is great for the metro, the train, um, the systems that they have, and it's very inexpensive. If you want to get a T10 card, which gives you 10 trips, is about 13 US dollars. Um, for a senior, that price drops to around five. It all just depends on the exchange rate, of course. They do also have monthly passes, which have unlimited use of the metro and the train system as well. And I believe that's around, for under 30 US dollars a month, you can pick one up as a senior and under $50 um, for anyone else. So they are great to use. If you wanna buy a car, you can. I've just found a lot of people that I know that have cars parking in the city is a little bit of a nightmare. Um, unless you buy or rent um, a place that has designated parking or rent a parking stall, you can spend 15-20 minutes driving around just trying to find parking in your neighborhood or by your apartment or wherever you're living. So what I love about it is I don't want to buy a car, I don't need one, the transportation's great. The train system is also wonderful for getting to other cities within um, Spain. So you could get to Madrid sometimes for as little as $70. Um, Malaga is around the same price. Uh, Valencia, I believe, you can get to sometimes for $26 one way. So it's great. And then you're right, taken right from city center to city center, and you get to see a lot of the countryside or the seaside, depending upon where you're going along the way too, which is also really nice. For flights, or I mean, you can also take the train to, to other countries as well. Um, flights within Europe, for the most part, are very inexpensive. You could fly to another country for as little as the cheapest I ever went. It was for five euro. Um, that was a really good seat sale off season in November, I believe. Um, and anywhere up to even 100 euro. Uh, when I see prices for 100 euros, so that's probably about 120, 130 US dollars, I find that to be very expensive just because I'm used to seeing the prices a lot cheaper and many flights happening. So um, they also have um, a large bus that uh, you can travel very inexpensively as well if you really want to see a lot of the, the countryside and to take your time. Um, so many options. Transportation is great and I find it to be substantially less money than it is to travel within Canada um, and I'm assuming lots within the United States it will be a lot less as well. So love the fact that the transportation is inexpensive here and it's easy to see so many countries so easily um, coming out of Spain. The general cost of living in Barcelona is definitely more than it is in other parts of Spain. Southern Spain is a lot cheaper. Barcelona is a very popular city. Many people want to come here uh, to live, which makes the prices of things go up, especially with ha housing. Apartments are quite expensive right now. For a two-bedroom apartment, you're going to be looking at around $1,350. Um, food, I mean it depends on how much you want to eat out and eat in. I find generally the cost of food in the grocery stores is cheaper than it is within North America, especially wine. Uh, wine and beer is a lot cheaper here in Spain. But I would say if you would budget $350 to $400 per couple uh, would be great for food. Utilities would be around $200 uh, US dollars a month for that, for air conditioning, heating, internet, um, Wi-Fi, all of that kind of stuff would be included in that. Entertainment, I mean, it depends on how much you want to go out. 
you enjoy the outdoors and you just want to make a picnic, pick up a bottle of wine, go down to the beach or hang out um, at a park, that's obviously very inexpensive. Menu of the day in most restaurants you can get for under, under 20 US dollars for sure, sometimes even under 15 and that includes a drink, an entree, an appetizer and tea or coffee or dessert. For dinners, uh, you can again have inexpensive dinners or just go for a couple of tapas and a, and a couple of drinks and have maybe some salad or something light at home. Gym memberships are a little bit more pricey I find here. They're going to be around 80 US dollars a month. I'm not sure what they are in the United States. Um, and then, um, I mean, it depends on how much other activities and things that you want to do and how much traveling you want to do. But I think for under $2,500 a month per couple, you can live very, very comfortably here in Barcelona. And if you wanted to see some other places in Spain, you can still travel on that budget as well. So. Um, I have really enjoyed the lifestyle here and like the fact that I've made Barcelona home and look forward to spending several years discovering more of the city and more other cities in Spain and throughout the countryside as well.